question instead of writing down all, everything I'll just uh, write down as symbols so the average is 7.4 and standard deviation is 0 0.7 so let's say you have a normal distribution you have a normal distribution with average mu and standard deviation sigma. That means the distribution looks like a bell curve where the center is at 7.4 and uh, like 0 0.7 is somewhat related to the, the width of this bell curve. So if you have that, the question is, what percentage of the population, and by population I mean the entire set. Okay. That's uh, in statistics often when you say see the word population, it means the entire set, as opposed to a sample, which is like uh, you pick random sample from the pop entire population. Right? So the question is, what percent of the population is, is between 6.0 to 8.8 .8 pounds? So how do you do this? Well, uh, so the way you, you solve this is by calculating the z-score. Because what's the meaning of the z-score? It tells you how many multiples of the standard deviation these individual numbers are from the mean, okay. away from the mean. By the way, I didn't put any units on the board, so let me just write it like that. Okay. All right. So let's let's find a z-score for each. So first of all, what's 6.0 z-score? You subtract 7.4 and divide it by 0 0.7. Remember, the formula for the z-score is x minus mu over sigma. And that's all I'm doing. I'm, uh, if I want the z-score, put the 6.0 into x. Mean value is 7.4. Sigma is 0 0.7, so I just calculate this, which is negative 1.4 divided by 0 0.7. So this is negative 2. Uh, and similarly, Similarly, if I apply this formula for the other one, 8.8, .8, let's see what we get. 8.8 .8 minus the average, divide by the standard deviation, and that's positive 1, 4, so it's positive 2. Okay. And at this point there, uh, you can just simply say, oh, oh, this is, you're saying, you want two standard deviation this way and also this way right, from the mean, right? So negative two means you go two standard deviations to the left and two standard deviations on the right. And uh, we, we know this uh, empirical rule which says that if you have a distribution that looks like bell-shaped, then you know that 68% belongs to within one standard deviation and 95% belongs to within two standard deviation and 99.7% within three standard deviations. So using that, we can easily say 95% should be the answer. Okay. Uh, however, let me show you now you can do the same thing with this table with a slightly more accurate value. So what you can do is, uh, here I'm looking at the standard normal distribution, and if you go to 2.0, so if you look at the table, you have a bunch of numbers here, and you have like 1.9 and 2.0 uh, and 2.1, and here is 0, 0.0 and the 0 0.01. 0 0.02 and so on and so on. And, you know, 2.0 plus 0, 0.0 is 2. And if you look at the place where they meet, if I read the value from this table, 
is 0.97725. Okay, 0.97725. Okay. Now, what does that mean? It means the following. If you have the standard normal distribution, if you have the standard normal distribution, and here is, so this is the, the z, the standard normal distribution. So the center is at 0. And if you go to 2, then the area be before 2 is 0.97725. That's this area. Now, uh, however, that's not what we want. We want from negative 2 to positive 2. We don't want the area from negative infinity to positive 2. We want the area from negative 2 to positive 2. So what should we do? Any ideas? Yes. 1 minus 9.7725. OK, so then you get this much. What do you do with that? Um, subtract it from 9.7725. OK, that will be, yeah. So uh, one way to do it would be to realize that what you really want to do is to get rid of this portion, right? So what you can do is you can subtract from 1 minus, so if you do 1 minus 0 0.97725, that's going to be 0 0.02275, right? So we know that this much is 0 0.2275. And that means by symmetry, this much is also 0 0.02275. So you want to get rid of that. So what you want to do is 0 0.97725 minus 0 0.0. 2275 and you get 5 and then 4 and then let's see 5 0. Point, no not, not 0. 0.95450 okay so what that means is that uh, uh, if you want more accurate answer assuming that the, the given distribution is perfectly normal then uh, the better answer would be 95 0.450 per cent. Okay. So that would be more accurate. But uh, since this question is just about the empirical rule, uh, 95 is good, good enough. Now, let me add to this that uh, there's actually a, a, another way to do it. And there are many different ways. That all you have to know are basically three things. One is the entire area is 1. Uh, if you just cut at 0, then the area until 0 would be 0.5. And also that this bell shape is perfectly symmetric. Okay. So using those three facts, you can calculate any area from uh, any point to any point as long as those number, numbers appear on this table. Okay.